you now say this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear powered? The, if the light that we observe from this object is reflection of sunlight, its size needs to be bigger than Manhattan Island, 20 kilometers or so. Three, I Atlas may be an alien technology, something we've discussed many times before. But what's being revealed now goes far beyond that. Imagine this, not just an artificial structure, but possibly a spacecraft powered by nuclear energy. A concept powerful enough to shatter the very framework of our thinking. And as always, Professor Avi Loeb emerges with images and calculations that suggest his so-called Loeb scale is no longer fixed at level four, but is slowly shifting, reaching for something higher. Could it be that right here in our solar system, we are truly being visited by a mysterious guest there's no denying the contributions of the Hubble Space Telescope in capturing stunning images of 3i Atlas. In those frames, we see a comet racing at remarkable speed, turning the surrounding stars into long trailing streaks of light. Its dusty halo, wrapping around a solid icy core, takes the shape of a faint green teardrop, like a giant cocoon offering scientists a rare opportunity to analyze the size and chemical composition of this interstellar visitor. Most of the astronomical community agrees that 3i Atlas is indeed a genuine interstellar comet. Measurements show it has a solid, icy nucleus, shrouded in dust just like comets within our solar system. The dust activity, the outgassing, all of it seems similar. And yet, one detail breaks the pattern its dust tail doesn't point away from the sun like every other comet. Instead, it appears to lean toward the sun, something almost impossible under standard physical models. This peculiar trait pushed Harvard professor Avi Loeb to investigate further. He highlighted a strange phenomenon. Rather than trailing a long tail behind it, 3i Atlas emitted a small glow positioned ahead of it, right in the direction of the sun a bright spot where no such thing should exist. For comets, light usually comes from evaporating ice, creating dust that reflects sunlight. But in this case, the light from 3i Atlas behaved more like a beacon, shining toward the sun and then dimming in a highly unusual way as it approached. Loeb argued this was not simply the result of evaporating dust. He posed a bold question. Could 3i Atlas be generating nuclear energy on its own? Preliminary calculations were even more shocking. The true source of its glow may be no larger than 100 meters, far smaller than the original 20-kilometer estimate. And yet, the energy output appeared to reach nearly 10 gigawatts, the equivalent of 10 full-scale nuclear power plants combined. A tiny object radiating such immense power if it's not natural, then where could that energy truly come from? According to Professor Avi Loeb, the hypothesis that 3i Atlas might be a nuclear-powered probe from an extraterrestrial civilization may sound bold. Yet before reaching such a groundbreaking conclusion, he carefully weighs the more natural explanations first. The first possibility Loeb puts on the table is that 3i Atlas could be a primordial black hole, a hypothetical object thought to have formed in the very first moments of the universe. With Hawking radiation, such a black hole at a temperature of around 1,000 Kelvin would indeed emit energy. At first glance, this seems plausible, but the math quickly dismantles the idea. The emission power would be only about 20 nanowatts, no brighter than a tiny light bulb far too weak to match the brilliant variable glow astronomers actually observed from 3i Atlas that essentially rules out the primordial black hole hypothesis right away. Another angle Loeb considers is that 3i Atlas could simply be a fragment of debris from a recent supernova explosion. Such stellar cataclysms can scatter enormous amounts of radioactive material across space. If 3i Atlas truly carried such radioactive elements, it might shine from nuclear decay inside it, like a natural reactor, 
gifted to the cosmos by dying stars. Theoretically, this explanation is somewhat more reasonable. However, in reality, radioactive debris is extremely rare, and it cannot maintain steady brightness over the long timescale of an interstellar journey. On top of that, the odds of such a radioactive remnant drifting close to Earth by chance are astronomically low. So this idea, too, gradually loses its persuasive power. When the natural explanations one by one begin to falter, the most daring and shocking hypothesis remains. 3i Atlas may in fact be an artificial nuclear reactor, a probe sailing through the solar system. According to Loeb's reasoning, the strange dust observed in front of the object might not be the product of evaporation like in a normal comet. Instead, it could be interstellar dust accumulated over millions of years, shaken loose as its internal energy system operates. This scenario neatly explains the backward-facing dust tail, recorded by Hubble and other telescopes, a detail that defies conventional comet models. Not only that, the brilliant glow astronomers have seen may come directly from its nuclear core. If so, the eerie halo captured by Hubble would not be just sunlight reflected by a cometary tail, but the result of dust and fragments gathered over eons, now igniting as the object draws closer to the sun. What's more, if 3i Atlas truly is a nuclear-powered spacecraft, the constant release of dust into space makes perfect sense. Any nuclear reactor, no matter how advanced, produces tremendous heat. Such heat could fracture its outer material, shedding bursts of dust. In addition, exhaust streams or secondary thrust from a nuclear system could easily blow away that dust, much like how our own spacecraft in Earth orbit are constantly battered by cosmic dust and micrometeoroids. If this scenario is true, 3i Atlas can no longer be classified as an ordinary interstellar comet, nor as a random piece of cosmic debris. It would stand as living proof of alien technology, the kind humanity has so far only dared to imagine in science fiction. This object might be an active probe, still journeying between star systems to observe, collect data, or even transmit signals. Whatever the case, the idea of an interstellar nuclear ship is enough to spark a paradigm shift in how humanity perceives its place in the universe. It forces scientists to step beyond the safe zone and confront the bold possibility that we may not be alone. The arrival of such technology in our solar system would not only signal the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence, but also remind us how little we truly understand about the cosmos. If, one day, this hypothesis is proven correct, 3i Atlas will no longer be just a peculiar object passing by. It will become a historic milestone the first direct evidence of interstellar technology, and perhaps the opening chapter of a great dialogue between civilizations across the stars. The most striking detail is the bizarre orbit of 3i Atlas. To consider it an ordinary comet simply doesn't make sense. Professor Avi Loeb points out that the probability of an object possessing such an orbit is just one in 20,000, practically zero, it moves against Earth's direction on an unusual retrograde path, yet almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, deviating by only five degrees, an uncanny precision rarely seen in nature. Even stranger, its trajectory looks as if it were pre-programmed, sweeping past Mars, Venus, and then approaching Jupiter, the very three planets most significant to humanity's ambitions in space exploration. Coincidence, or could this be a deliberate survey route? Mars, the eternal symbol of human aspiration. The world where Elon Musk dreams of building a city beneath transparent domes. Venus, Earth's twin, a hellish planet yet full of challenges, once imagined as a place for floating bases in its atmosphere. And Jupiter, the giant of gas and magnetism, surrounded by moons like Europa and Ganymede worlds hiding vast subsurface oceans. Each destination resonates directly with our own scientific goals. So, is it all mere coincidence? 
or is there purpose behind it? If random, then it is randomness of the most extraordinary kind, for this orbit resembles something or someone deliberately scouting and charting the map of our solar system. And finally, let's dare to ask the boldest question. What if 3i Atlas is actually a nuclear-powered probe? Just imagine a mobile reactor drifting through the cold emptiness of interstellar space. The implications are staggering. Anything equipped with a nuclear reactor cannot be random. It must have a purpose. And that purpose, in this scenario, could very well be to observe us. But if hostility were ever intended, the consequences would be terrifying. Just think about the destructive force of a nuclear explosion. Now magnify that by the scale of such a massive object. The threat would be immense. Normally, every comet in the solar system must strictly obey the sun's gravity, traveling on fully predictable orbits. Yet 3i Atlas continues to assemble pieces of a puzzle that leave scientists baffled. From the very first images, astronomers sensed something was off. And when detailed data from NASA's SphereX Space Telescope was released, the picture only grew more bizarre and harder to accept. Unlike typical comets, 3i Atlas did not erupt violently as it approached the Sun. It didn't fragment or grow a spectacular tail stretching millions of kilometers as we would expect. Instead, it glowed in a way that felt deeply unnatural. The light didn't shine from behind as the result of gas and dust escaping, but rather flashed from the front. In fact, it formed a faint yet uniform halo, eerily resembling headlights cutting through the cosmic night rather than the chaotic traces of a natural reaction. Yes, a dust cloud does appear to accompany 3i Atlas, but it is so thin, so faint, it is nearly invisible to optics insufficient to reflect sunlight in any way current science can explain. This has led many to imagine it as an artificial exhaust, or even a kind of camouflage veil, rather than the natural debris of a frozen comet. All these fragments of evidence converge into a chilling possibility we cannot ignore. What if 3i Atlas is not a lifeless chunk of rock drifting by chance into our solar system? What if it is, in truth, a mobile nuclear machine, designed, operated, and dispatched by a distant civilization? If that hypothesis is true, then 3i Atlas is far more than a cosmic passerby. It could be functioning as a silent eye, a hidden outpost, quietly watching humanity's progress. And the most unsettling question remains. If such a ship has appeared, is it here merely to observe? Or does it carry a grander mission, one that could be an opportunity or a danger beyond imagination?